Hey guys, Rob Alden here, IMAX Productions and 10 Minute Photoshop. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at designing a business card. Okay, so the few things you need to do, uh, you need to know first before designing a business card. One is the dimensions. So the dimensions of a business card, three and a half by two. And we want a resolution at 300 because this is getting printed. Okay, but we do want bleeds because this is going all the way to the edge. So we're going to make, we want a one eighth bleed, one eighth inch bleed on either side. So we have, we need to add 0.25 uh, inches to each side. So from here, 3.75, 2.25. And click OK, and this is your business card document, okay? Um, I made it simple for you. What you need to do, go to 10minutephotoshop.com and download my free business card template, okay? So here's what you get. Nice business card template, okay? So basically, what's on a business card? Well, you've got your logo, you've got some design elements, you've got your contact information, okay? So I'll show you how to use my template here. And what I've done here is I've given you a bleed mask. So I talked about bleeds. If you want to know more about bleeds, please, there's a link in the description below. Go to 10 Minute Photoshop. I explain in a blog post all about bleeds, what they are, their purpose. But essentially, a bleed is where your image goes all the way to the edge of the paper. So the printers need some extra image in order to get it trimmed off to final size. So I've given you a nice mask here. See in the layer palette, bleed mask? If I toggle that off, as you can see, my image goes all the way to the edge of the document. But that gets cut off, so this is a nice guide to see what your business card will look like, um, the final trim size. Obviously, before flattening your image and sending to print, you need to remove that mask and save. Okay, so let's start replacing. Let's start replacing some stuff here. So we'll go to. I've got a logo here, a generic logo that I've created. So we're going to take that. We're going to copy it. We're going to come here. We're going to turn off the logo layer. We're going to paste my own logo. I'm going to transform it, hit the transform, make it small. Get it, there you go, right in the corner, like that. Okay, now we got to change other colors. So go in the copy, expand that folder. I'm going to go do my John Smith. I'm going to go blending options, color overlay, and then I could just grab one of the green over here. There you go, just like that. And I could, obviously, all this information can be changed. Put my name in there. I am the director of sales. Okay, so obviously er everything here can be changed. You can move things around. Oop, I would grab all this if I wanted to put this here and put my name over there. I can easily change that information around. That's an easy stuff to do. Okay, so all these elements are changeable. Okay, so I want to copy the green here. So I'm going to right click, copy layer style, and I want these icons to change. So these are these guys here, copy all of them, and then paste layer style. Now these guys are green as well. Now I want my bottom little things to be green. So blending options, gradient, I got an orange gradient here, so I just want to, I'm gonna pick the colors from my logo. You can pick any colors, of course, but since I've already got two shades of green in the logo, they should match that for that bottom thing. Same thing again, I'm gonna copy layer style, and down here, I'm going to paste layer style. Now, this one, I'm just going to drop the opacity so that it fades like that. Okay, now, if you want that nice, um, I mean, this is, I've provided you with this in the template, but I mean, if you didn't want that, if you wanted a straight line, you could just remove these. I could grab a um, box tool here, rectangular tool, and then make a line at the bottom, bring that up, and then make sure again, Bleed mask, it's got to go all the way to the edges. So, you know, don't make the, the rectangle end here. Be conscious of that. Every image that goes to the edge of the, of the card has to go all the way to the edge of the document. Okay, so we've got our black rectangle. Paste our layer style on there. We've got our nice green. Could put that in a box, add a mask, and then I could add a nice little fade like this. Okay, these are other options, other stuff you could do. Um, but you know what? I was happy with the uh, where the template came from. Okay, from here we want to save this as a document, whatever. Um, save this with layers. That'd be probably a good idea. So I'm going to save. Okay, so I'm going to call it business card back because this would be the back of my card, and save as a PSD. Then I want to flatten it because I want to get ready to send to print. So I will remove the bleed mask. I will come up here to layer. I will flatten image. This flattens everything. So that's why I saved as a PSD before, because I want those layers. By flattening this, it makes one layer out of everything. 
This cannot be edited now. I'll come up here, mode CMYK. Okay, and I will save this as a JPEG this time. Maximum quality, so drag this all the way up. Hit OK. Now you've got a high res CMYK JPEG ready to send to print. Now, if I get my guides, as you can see, this is where it's going to get trimmed. Okay, so the final size of your card will be this. Okay? Okay, so it's just that simple to create a business card uh, using. Just that simple to create a business card. Obviously, you can change the font, change the text, change the design here. Um, this is just one template that I've given you. So go download that freely. If you want more business card templates, as well as logo templates, 3D logo templates, even video logo templates, please click the link in the description below. It'll take you to 10-minute Photoshop. We've got lots of really awesome templates and tutorials there. Okay, so please check that out. Um, have a nice day. This is Rob Baldwin. Thanks for watching.